Islands have been appearing in the South China Sea for the past decade, and they're housing something the Chinese government would rather you didn't know about. Welcome to Technality. I'm Alex, and today we're going to be looking at the massive, mysterious, and highly contested geoengineering project going on in the Spratly Islands. But before we do that, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss an episode of Technality. Located in the South China Sea, the Spratly Islands are a group of islands and reefs claimed by multiple countries, including China, Vietnam, the Philippines, Malaysia, Brunei, and Taiwan. And there's a reason all of them want geographical shared custody. These islands are so finely divided because they're strategically significant. They're loaded with oil and gas reserves. How much? We don't know, but potentially a lot miles of rich fishing grounds, and more importantly, the shipping lanes that pass through the area. Each of these would be worth fighting for on their own, but altogether make this section of the South China Sea incredibly valuable. To assert their territorial claims, these countries have been building artificial islands on everything from shallow land to protruding rocks. Now, it feels like a strategy that a child would come up with after playing one game of Risk, but it's kind of genius. Some of the larger inhabited islands controlled by Taiwan, the Philippines, and Vietnam have things like airstrips, ports, military facilities, and civilian settlements. Then there are the artificial islands, and China's Fiery Cross Island is the biggest one on the block. What was once nothing more than a mostly submerged reef has undergone complete land reclamation. In less than a decade, military installations, runways, deep water ports, air defense systems, radar, and other covert infrastructure have been built from the ground up. China's militarization at Firecross Island and across the South China Sea is changing the game. Ships and missiles can be deployed at a moment's notice from these tactically located artificial islands. And even if they're not, China's finger on the button is a show of power to the other countries competing for their share, effectively controlling what goes in or out on their terms, ruling with an iron fist. All this despite multiple countries claiming Fiery Cross Island falls under their own territory. The controversy surrounding these geographical transformations extends beyond weaponization. Constructing artificial islands involves dredging sand and coral from the seabed, devastating local marine ecosystems in the process. Removing sand and coral disrupts a natural balance that's existed for thousands of years, potentially leading to habitat loss and the death of multiple marine species. A project can be so intense that ocean currents change, shifting tidal patterns, potentially wiping away entire coastal ecosystems. All that increase in human activity and infrastructure also raises the risk of oil spills. Leaks from ships, military vessels, or industrial facilities can have a direct impact on local communities that depend on the sea for fishing and tourism. The truth is, we don't know what the social and environmental implications of these artificial islands will be because something like this has never happened before. China extending its military reach, enhancing surveillance, and potentially controlling surrounding waters is making waves around the world. The United States and the United Nations have gone so far to suggest that China could be violating international law. But no one has done anything about it, at least not yet. And the longer nothing happens, the stronger China's influence and authority becomes. Here's the deal. We know China's artificial islands exist thanks to aerial photography. We know there are some locations like Fiery Cross Island housing an extensive arsenal of technology that can be activated at a moment's notice. What we don't yet know is what China is willing to do to keep their overarching dominion over the Spratly Islands. That's it for this episode of Technality. I'm Alex. I'll see you in the future.